This is my Genoni. Here's my comic pulls for February 7, 2018. Uh, it's kind of light, but I got some new stuff. Uh, first, we have Val Love. It's a touching story where I believe it's a young boy who is alone in life and he gets a bunch of Valkyries to live with him or something like that. You know, it's one of those things that you know will never happen even though deep down you kind of wish you just had that one opportunity to have that harem. Then we got Oh My Sweet Alien. Now, this is actually a really thick book. It's like 20 bucks compared to the normal $10 ones. Uh, basically, it's a sweet, touching story of a man who is married to an alien. And as you can see, she has like, like a, just say like a, an extra a skin, like th that she wears as clothing to make herself look like an alien. I mean, sorry, to make herself look human. But um, it looks like it's a comedy. I mean, it's got the parental advisory, so there's probably going to be some... Nudity. Well, there is nudity, but probably some pervy stuff in there, but it looked kind of funny, so I thought I'd give this one a try. Alright, next up is Superman. History of Destruc Destruction. Now, this, I was actually kind of like, okay, well, it's like a bonding issue with father and son. How, you know, Superman has this hologram of Krypton exploding, and he watches it every year. So he thought he'd let bring in John to watch it too, and John's all excited. They discover there's a planet that's coincidentally going to explode also. So Superman decides to save him. John goes, please, Daddy, take me. And so Superman agrees. They go to this planet, and they're like, leave. You know, this is our world. Uh, we're religious, and if the god says so, we're going to die. And Superman's like, nah, I think I'm going to save you anyways. And they're like, well, you, it's been foretold that you, somebody was going to come and we're going to keep you here, steal your powers, and then you're not going to be able to leave and you're going to die with us. And then Superman responds, oh, oh, really? Well, uh, I find that kind of hard to believe unless, of course, you have some kryptonite, a red sun, or maybe you can use magic against me if you know what that is. And I'm just like going, what an ass. I mean, okay, one, he's an ass because it's like... You know, it's like, it's, he's like being like, I don't know how to explain it right, but you know what I mean? It's like he's that type of person who's like, thinks he's above everybody else, thinks he can't, you can't hurt him unless you meet these criteria without even taking time to understand this culture. Two, what an idiot telling him, telling the bad guy how to beat him. I'm like, really? What happens if they go, yeah, yeah, I got some kryptonite. Oh, oh, magic hurts you? Yeah, we have that. And in this case, they do have magic because it's not not in the sense of you know, like pulling a rabbit out of a hat. It's more of a spiritual belief magic. And so they're, they're taking them down, stealing, siphoning their abilities, and then shenanigans happens. So I started off going, okay, it, this is kind of good. And I went to, okay, this is kind of creepy, like you're watching your planet explode and how your son is looking forward to watching the planet explode because you know that way it's not like they're alone the planet is alone you know type thing and um then superman interferes with another uh planet's religion so to speak uh their way of life and you know i understand this is kind of like it's one of those issues where it's kind of could be a controversial storyline but it's also one of those types of storylines that make you think do you if you could save somebody. Do you have the right to do that if it goes against their wishes? And I'm just kind of like going, you know, Superman's being kind of a, a jackass doing the way he's doing it. And, um, but I don't know. I don't know. If I, I don't know if I'm going to get the other next one. We'll see. Batman 40. Okay, this one actually wasn't too bad. Super, I mean, Batman and Wonder Woman resist the urge to do the bat nasty in the cave and it's like you can just tell like Batman has, has his really bad days Wonder Woman has her bad days and this guy just wants to see his wife and then Catwoman's like finds out 
what's going on in the other world and she's not happy that you know like every hour you know that's here is you know decades type thing in another world and so it, i mean it was kind of good i liked it it's not i guess this is what i would call a filler issue but at the same time it was it was a it was a good storyline in the sense where it tested Bruce's bonds with Selena, Selena's with that. At the same time, it also put uh, Wonder Woman's seal of approval on Selena. So it it was kind of good in that respect. So I don't know. I I enjoyed it. It wasn't like top tier story, but on a very bottom level, I was like, okay, it's not too bad. And finally, Green Lantern number 40, Superheroes for Sale. All right, for this one here, it takes a very basic story where, you know, it's right out of the headlines in a sense, where you have people using data apps to commit crimes, you know, mostly, you know, rape, killing, kidnappings, things like that. But what they do is they take it to another level because what they're doing is they're, there's a superhero app and it it's kind of convoluted reasons why it's safe for the superheroes but they go on this app and they do dating type thing it's like tinder and this is where we learn okay well you have your top tier superheroes and then you have a bunch of garbage heroes that you know they never amount to anything they're just like local local like uh people they you know they maybe they come in and out of being a superhero it's you know they never get called up to the big leagues i mean it's below minor league so that's that's who's basically mostly getting uh kidnapped and then basically what's going on is the superheroes are being kidnapped and they're by aliens and hence superheroes for sale it's kind of interesting i don't know i'll probably get another issue probably it's not too bad but um personally i'm gonna enjoy probably the my wife is an alien more than this nonsense anyways that's the pull list this week uh let me know what you guys picked up what you guys are looking forward to reading the most we'll have more stuff later like share and then until next time